Hello, and welcome to your new Amazon Fire TV stick. We want to make sure you get the most out of your new streaming media player. So, we're going to take a quick tour together that will teach you all about your Fire TV stick. Before we get started, just a quick setup reminder. For best performance, please use the power adapter that was included. Fire TV Stick lets you stream a huge amount of entertainment, and the included remote lets you access it all. It's really pretty cool. Let's get started. Navigating is easy. The Home button takes you to your Fire TV Stick's home screen at any time. Press here to navigate up or down, left or right. Press the centre button to select, and press the back button to return to the previous screen. With Fire TV Stick, you can watch thousands of movies and TV episodes from Netflix, Amazon Instant Video and more, access exclusive Prime Instant Video titles and play games. Fire TV Stick even recommends other movies and TV shows that you might enjoy. You can add any movie or TV show you want to watch later to your watch list and access it on the home screen. Just click right here. If you're an Amazon Prime member, in addition to the delivery benefits, you get unlimited streaming access to thousands of movies and TV shows, all at no extra cost. Browse Prime Instant Video content easily in various categories. Not a Prime member? No problem. Straight after this video, you're going to get a chance to sign up for a free 30-day trial. So, you can try it out for yourself. With Amazon Cloud Drive, you can store your pictures and personal videos in the cloud. Then, with your Fire TV stick, you can access those pictures and videos anytime you want on the big screen. Let's talk about gaming. With Fire TV stick, you can play some excellent games. You can use the directional buttons on your remote, or you can use the Amazon Fire game controller sold separately. You can turn a compatible phone into a remote control by downloading the free Fire TV remote app from the Amazon App Store, Google Play, and the Apple App Store. You can use the app to navigate, enter text by keyboard, or perform voice searches using your phone's mic, making it even easier to enjoy all the content your Fire TV stick has to offer. Just pull down the microphone icon and say the name of a movie, TV show, actor, or director. Alpha House. When you use the voice feature on the remote app or the optional Amazon Fire TV voice remote, your voice information is processed in the cloud to deliver better, quicker search results and to help improve your experience. And with Fire TV Stick, you can also enjoy Second Screen. Second Screen allows you to start a movie or TV show on your Fire phone or compatible Fire tablet and with a tap, fling content to your TV while you continue to do other things on your phone or tablet such as checking emails, Twitter or Facebook. OK. We've just scratched the surface of what you can do. If you want to watch this video again, or need more help, go to Settings, click on the Help button, and find what you're looking for. Thank you, and enjoy your new Amazon Fire TV stick. Troubleshooting Many issues with your Amazon Fire TV device can be solved by simply restarting your device. To restart your Amazon Fire TV device, unplug the power cable from the back of your Fire TV or remove the Fire TV stick from the back of your TV and unplug the power cord. Wait 30 seconds and then plug it back in. Wait for your Amazon Fire TV device to restart. For problems purchasing or accessing content, First, make sure your Fire TV device is connected to the Internet, either wirelessly or through an Ethernet connection. Your device must be connected to the Internet to buy, play, and sync your content. To verify your Internet connection, select Settings from the main menu, System, and then either Network or Wi-Fi, depending on how you are connected. The Fire TV stick can only connect via Wi-Fi. If you are connected using Wi-Fi, you will see a list of available networks. Select the one you would like to connect to and log in. A lock symbol indicates that the network requires a password. 
Please note that this is not your Amazon password. Amazon does not know your Wi-Fi network password. If you are still not connected, or your network is receiving a poor signal, try restarting your router and modem. Switch off the modem and router, and unplug the power cables from both. Wait 30 seconds. Plug the power cable into the modem, and wait for it to boot up. Plug the power cable into the router, and wait for it to boot up. Your Fire TV device will automatically reconnect when the signal returns. If you still do not see your content or are seeing content such as photos that you don't believe are yours, verify that your Fire TV device is registered to the correct account. Select Settings from the main menu and then My Account. If you see the wrong account listed, select it and then select Deregister. Select Register to log in and register the device to the correct account. Use the Applications menu to manage, sync, and update your games and apps. Select Manage Installed Applications. Select the app you wish to manage. Choose to launch the application, force stop, uninstall, clear data, or clear the cache if you are having a problem. It's important to note that if you clear data, it won't delete the app. However, your saved information such as game scores may be lost. Finally, if you are still experiencing issues, you can try resetting your Amazon Fire TV device to the factory default settings. To reset your device, select Settings from the main menu, and then select System. Select Reset to factory defaults. After resetting your Fire TV device, you'll need to re-register and re-download the content stored in your cloud. If you're able to see content but don't hear sound, you should check the Dolby Digital Output settings. Navigate to Settings, select the Display and Sounds menu, then Audio, and then Dolby Digital Output, and try turning Dolby Digital Plus to off. Then check to see if you have sound. Make sure your TV's volume level is turned up and not muted. If that fixed the issue, your TV may not support Dolby Digital Plus audio, and you will have to leave it set to off. If the screen on your Amazon Fire TV goes blank, but the white indicator dot is still lit, make sure the HDMI cable is securely inserted in both the back of the TV and the back of your device. Also, try replacing the cable to ensure the issue isn't being caused by a defective HDMI cable. For more help information, visit Amazon.co.uk forward slash Fire TV support.